Hello and welcome to Wednesday evening. Had to think about that. This week has been a weird one. I spent most of today thinking that it's Thursday. I don't know why, just one of those weeks. It's been a busy time. Um, I hope you've had a decent week so far. Today we are checking out in this video what has been added into the game since this time yesterday. We should definitely have a new team of the week today. We may have some new players today. Hopefully we'll have some new challenges, some new gameplay content. But most likely, I would say probably not. But we'll have a look. We'll scroll through and just see what's been added in in the last 24 hours and see if it is something that will strike our interest. Right, first things first, we are still on level five and a half, so we're on our way to, as I said yesterday, a very exciting mascot choice. Nothing in FC Pro. FC Live is the normal gameplay stuff. We will finish this today. So we get an 84 plus times five and an 85 plus times four. So that would definitely help us, uh, let us complete the uh, Alexis McAllister uh, showdown SPC, which is related to the Carabao Cup final this weekend. Um, yeah, so that's the main point. That's some big cards that come out could come out of that, as well as some big new Team of the Week players, which we'll have a look at as well. <coughs> Seasonal, we have new daily objectives. Nothing surprising there. Uh, rival stuff to do later on. And... The rivals gameplay will contribute to these. We will definitely get that one at 20, if nothing more. So, do we have a new evolution today? First off, let's check moments. I think I finished the ones we that got added in yesterday. Yes, I did. We're waiting for the next one of those. We've actually got 10 in store now, which is a bit weird. Normally, I either get rid of the XP straight away. Or um, I don't do it. But let's use it. Why not? We'll get a pick. We'll get one. They're all going to be low, I'm sure. We'll take John Marion. 82 isn't to be sniffed at, even if it is just 10 minutes worth of gameplay with the moment stuff. Right, evolution. Will we have an evolution? Probably not. I would say it's unlikely. But let's check it out and see. No, we do not. So we still have midfielders, which I still haven't put in. Uh, we are running out of time with Undev. Still no Travella goal with him. Frankly, I think I've basically just given up with that element of his cards. He will stay as he is. So let's go to the store and then go on from there to SPCs. And that's where the team of the week is, obviously. Um, oh, what? Are these different? These are not different. These are still the same. Base icon up to 91, pick one of two. It's interesting. Why is an icebreaker? I'm not sure, but obviously that means you still could get an 86 rated base icon. You still could get um, Paul Scholes versus Michael Owen and not be the best options, but it's so the gamble you could take. You could get a choice of two 91s that actually have quite a difficult choice. But more likely, probably not. So packs for me is nothing. Classic packs is a preview pack. Let's open this up and see if we've got anything worth having. Is it going to be Ansu Fati? It is Ansu Fati, probably. Uh, four players, a manager... And not much else is probably not worth the money. So we'll keep that safe. Keep that tucked away. And we'll go to SPCs and see what's there. Please have something I can actually get excited about here. So Lauren Hemp, still there. Still expensive. Diego Yotta still there. Aubameyang. Nicholas Jackson. Then McAllist. Oh, that's what I was going to show you. Um, I... I don't know if anybody else did, but I got some compensation earlier on, which was two player picks, as you see here. It's related back to the um, 
Hero SBC that they got the text wrong for. So as you see, I got two random picks um, um, randomly like this afternoon. So I was I logged on to my app and they were just there. So I've clicked and picked Akotcha from the first selection and then Yari Litmanen from the second selection. That, that Those were just my two options that I got given. Uh, sorry, the, the best two options I got given in my selection of threes. So I picked them. So they'll probably go into the final section of Alexis McAllister. But yeah, that's that's here now. They're no here nor there. I hope you got your competition. If you did the SBCs that were miswritten. If you didn't do those SBCs, then the, you won't be getting the compensation. Just so that you know. That's how it works. Uh, ooh, we have a Loic Bade who looks quite another French centre back with eighty plus pace. He's got a cool mask on. He's got some good traits. Jockey, anticipate, slight tackle plus, bruiser with relentless. So what's the stamina? Seventy five. So seventy five stamina means nothing when you have relentless. Um, in there, very good passing, decent pace, shadow or anchor or engine on that, you're going to be absolutely fine. He is Seville, so he is um, Spanish League, six foot three and French means he's probably going to be not the cheapest or one segment. 84 with the team of the week is not too bad for him, considering what De Sassi was. 84 team of the week and an 85 with the team of the week. So, Bade is more than double the price. Fair enough. That's your choice. Premier League, that's the difference. It shows you the difference between a Premier League one and the Sevilla one. And Bade might even be able to go into that evolution. The one that I put Maya Letizia into, the Future Stars evolution for, for a card. Might even go into that. So, there's always an option there. Got the 88 icon player pick. That's the 76, uh, 86, 86, 87. That's there for today. The 85 plus player pick. Two of them. The 82 times 20, which I'm not going to have enough fodder for yet, so I'm not going to do it now, obviously. 81 plus player pick. Daily gold, daily silver, daily bronze. And then challenges. We have the future stars challenges normal, which we might as well do now. I will do the same thing as I always do and put Spanish League gold and then low. See if we get enough from there. Do we have an? Mm, probably not enough. Let's have a look at what else we got there. Oh, we can use some of these. Uh, we can put the left winger in. We can put the there in. We don't need Griezmann, and we probably don't need Rafinha either. So let's go go Spanish second and Spanish. Ladies, excuse my hiccups. Spanish ladies, Spanish second. Pick one of those. Any of these play up front? She plays centre mid. That's a fine. And a goalkeeper. That won't worry us too much. She can go there. And then the third league tops it off. There we go. So even with two silvers and a bronze, we still managed to get that 75 required rating. That gets us at least a pack to open. Actually, can we do one of these upgrades and get a quick 85 player pick? We'll do this one quickly. It's an 84 squad, if I remember rightly. It is. Uh, so it gets us a second thing to open just to see that we have hopefully have something uh, exciting to end the video on, which would be nice. Uh, I can put Trip here in, can't I? Maybe even Ronaldo. Just casually chucking a Ronaldo into an SBC, of course. That's how we do it here. Now, how can we do this? Can we take Ronaldo out? 
we can't, but can we put him in instead of Trippier? We can. Cool. So this is for an 85 plus player pick. We'll do this, then we'll open the other pack. So yeah, all that we've got today. Oh, the Team of the Week. We haven't looked at that yet, but we have the Loic Party SBC and we have the 88 plus icon pack. Everything else is just refreshed, repeated content. So let's hope we get something good from here. Fingers, yes, we do. We get a Makoko. Five star week foot on a five foot nine striker with really good pace, a nice body type, good shooting. Probably a maestro, maybe, or we'll have a look at the marksman, the finisher, what they do to the dribbling, but the physicals are good as well. And technical plus, acrobatic plus with Traveller, quick step, flare, first touch, power shot, and finesse. That's a tidy little card. Tidy little card. We're happy with that. Very happy with that indeed. And we got another pick to do, but we haven't got enough cards, so we're going to do the games and do the stuff beforehand. But let's open this, and then we'll have a look at the Team of the Week after that, see if anybody stands out in the Team of the Week. Premium Gold Players Pack gives... No, it's not blue. It's not blue. Let's have a drink. Cancelo is not to be sniffed at, though. That is a nice random pick from a not a big pack. And tradable, should I want to get rid of him? But we'll just get rid of him. Right, let's go to Team of the Week and see who is... Actually, we didn't look at icons. Probably won't be any icons there. Baggio, Cannavaro, Hullet, Hernandez. No, there's no, no new icons there. Right, so, Team of the Week, what is this going to bring? Bastone, Donnarumma, Odegaard, Correa, Shao... Jao Gomez got one for his two goals for Wolves. That's decent. Oh, we've got this. So on the bench, we've got Greaves, David Neres, Danny Motta, El Canusi, Nwakimi, Knauf and Jutta. And then here, we've got Donnarumma and 89. Is that his second week in a row? He's had an 88 recently, so that's a good card. Oops. Tavernier, that's going to be a good card. He always gets a nice team. There's no weaknesses there at all. Bastone up to 88. Pace is getting there. Agility balance a little low, but the physicals, the stamina, the uh, defending are all good. Schotterbeck, not that great at 85. Then we've got... Wait a minute, have I missed one? No. Geru as a midfielder. Geru? Geru? I don't even know how to pronounce that. My pronunciation is not the best with the foreign names for certain. Really good stamina, really good stand tackle, decent dribbling, good passing, good pace with an anchor. With a backbone, with a catalyst even would work if you want to really up that pace as a centre midfielder. Central defensive as well. Three star, three star, that's okay. I've gone the wrong button. Three star, three star is okay. Odegaard, 89. So he's top rated but so far with Donnarumma. The physicals are off a little bit. They're a little low. But he's not the, the strongest, most physical uh, presence on the pitch. But the shooting is decent. The passing obviously is good. The dribbling obviously is good. The pace is is like De Bruyne-esque pace. It's that is a similar kind of card. Five-star skill boost, only a two-star weak foot, which doesn't help his card. Jao Gomez, three-star, four-star for his two goals this weekend. One really good header, one decent first-time finish. Bill Laurel reactions, it's not the best card. It doesn't look like an 87, but it is good defensively, interceptions and stand tackles. Then we've got Mikel Marino, who is lacking pace, but is very good otherwise, even defensively. David is, yeah, decent. Not as good as he was last game cycle, but still decent there. Correa got a card. I don't know what Atletico Madrid have done. 
but they've had a few good games recently. That, I would put a hawk on that. Pace into the mid-90s, shooting into the mid-high 90s. Physicals as well. Decent card. And then she was always going to get a card there. They won, was it 9-1 or 9-2? And she was involved in eight of the nine goals or something along those lines. And she scored four or five of them and then got three assists or something. It's interesting just because, A, the defending is awful. B, the aggression is so low. It's very rare you get um, with a card that's high rated in most other areas. Aggression is just really low. And I don't know how affects that, that affects her playing style as such. But yeah, really low aggression, really low defending. But everything else, the dribbling is mostly in the 90s. Passing is a bit rubbish, but the shooting is very good. The pace is very good. First touch, um, rapid, flare, tick attacker, and power shot. Makes an interesting card. Left wing, left mid, and striker, and three star, three star. So it's a bit here and here and there, hit and miss kind of thing, rather than being solid throughout. And that's everybody. So that is your team of the week. Um, difficult to say who the best ones are. I think probably, yeah, Dollar and Reloader Guard. Not just because they're the highest rated, just because of the types of card they are. Um, so that's what I would say. So yeah, overall, Team of the Week 23, like Bardet SBC is hit and miss. It's a bit similar. If you want a Spanish defender, you've probably got a better option. And then the 88 plus Icon pick SBC is, again, a gamble at that price. You take what you take and you get you tee your luck, really. So yeah, I will wish everybody good luck with their picks, with their packs, with their play. And I will... Where are we? Thursday tomorrow. Yes, I should be speaking to you. This time tomorrow, we'll have a look to see what has been newly added in since then. So thank you very much for watching. I will speak to you then. Goodbye for now. Goodbye.